What's up? This build is going to be the Polar Lights Klingon Katinga class battlecruiser. I'm going to be painting it as it was seen in Star Trek the motion picture. I also plan on trying to do uh, some sound. I want to make the, the photon torpedoes work and, and make sound. Uh, it does have a lighting kit you can buy separately. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my own lighting. Uh, I have looked at the kit. Uh, the detail is very crisp. It's a very good looking kit. So let's get it. Got the uh, the photo etch from Paragraphics for this kit. Um, I'm not going to use all of it, but I am going to use some of it. And the first thing I want to do is I want to do the windows for the uh, officer's lounge and then there's like an observation thing that's a, on the back above the uh, shuttle bay. So this is where the officer's lounge is. This window detail on here is raised. So what I need to do is I need to cut my piece out, make sure it's the same as this so I can get some outlines and then remove the plastic to be able to insert the photo etch. So let me cut the photo etch piece out and then I'll be back. I got the photo etch piece cut out. I already kind of put a curl in it. What I did is I took uh, this exacto holder. This is, this is a round plastic piece. You could probably use a pen or a marker or something um, as long as it's completely round not oval or anything anyway you just you take the take the brass piece you just set it down and then you just you roll it and by rolling it on this mat it puts a curve in it so it kind of helps you get that curve started so this piece does fit on here it is exactly the same size as the raised plastic on here simulating the windows so now I need to cut out the plastic part so let me do that and then I'll be back what I did was I uh, took a drill bit I don't know what size this is probably an eighth and drilled three holes and then went in with the uh, the snippers to get rid of the middle piece so now I need to go in with the exacto blade and clean this up and get it ready for that photo etch piece to, uh, to set in there. I've got it uh, sanded down pretty good to get this thing to set in there. Um, there's still a little bit more tweaking I need to do before I glue it. So I'm going to do that and then glue it and then I'll be back. Alright, now the, the windows are in. Still got to do putting and sanding and priming and all that good stuff, but I'll do that after I get all the photo etch in. What I did, I just took some CA glue and a, with a toothpick here, and once I had it in place, just take little drops and set it in and just kind of scoot it around there and let the capillary action take care of it. So now what I need to do is uh, move on to <coughs> doing these these windows right here which is going to be a little bit more tricky because this piece fits on like this and there's not a whole lot of space in there so I'm gonna have to figure out a way I can get get that in there and get the holes in there and I'll look at it for a minute and then I'll figure it out and I'll be back all right I've taken those windows out sanded everything down as smooth as I could so when it fits in here you can see that there's a lip of plastic in there so I took uh, my mechanical pencil here and I just made a mark back and forth so I take this off then it'll it'll show me how much I need to shave off of there so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back I've removed um, the plastic after drawing that line so I've removed it out and I've scraped it down because I'm going to need to be able to get a an SMD in here for my uh, light source so when I, when I put this piece back on there get a 
straight line shot back there. So now I'm ready to be able to take my photo etch piece and glue it on here. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Photo etch window is in. So now this piece is ready for putty and sanding and etc. So now I can move on to the uh, grills for the impulse engines. I'm using uh, this this section here of the uh, the grills for the impulse engines, and they do fit in there perfectly. But uh, you definitely want to put them in before you put this back piece in, because they're a little more difficult to slide in there without bending them. Also, there's the uh, little clear piece that comes uh, with the kit that you'll want to do whatever you want to do with it to to diffuse it <clears throat> and I'm not going to glue these in because I've decided I want the grills to be a different color than the outside shrouds here for the impulse engines so it'll be easier to paint with everything separate and then glue everything together so that's ready for the next step and I was going to use you get two of them right here and these are supposed to go around the bridge with the the lights that shine red in the movie but looking at it I noticed that they had four windows here in the front which is not correct there are only three in the front and one on each side and then of course when it wraps around there's the two that are towards the back of the bridge so if I can't figure out a way to make these three windows then I'm just going to use the clear part and have to mask everything off and do it that way anyway that's going to do it for part one in the photo etch uh, part two I'm going to start working on the lighting where I need to put it and how to put it and all that good stuff so I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys for part two